Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Akeisha. Welcome back to day six of my back to school series. Last episode we talked about taking PowerPoint notes and if you miss it, don't panic because you can click the link to see it right there and it'll be down in the description box. Today we're gonna be talking about how to keep your laptop notes organized. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and click that red button to subscribe if you haven't already. So then I know in high school, you're not really allowed to bring, or when I was in high school, you're not allowed to bring a laptop to school. But in university, it's definitely one of the most preferred methods by a lot, a lot of students all across the board. Now, written notes are definitely the way to memorize your notes better when you're writing because you actually have to reword them and put them in your own word to like write them down. But in laptop, when you're writing with a laptop, it makes it a lot faster because I don't know about you, but I can type faster than I can actually write. I choose to take my notes, most of my notes, the bulk of my notes with my laptop. There's so many systems that you can keep your laptop notes on, it makes it really confusing and difficult to know which one you want to use. Like OneNote, you can take them in Google Documents, you can take them on Word, just regular Word, you can take them in Evernote. For me, I like to take them in OneNote because I find it a lot easier. I've been doing it for a long time and I like how the system is a lot better than every other note. Note taking system for my notes, at least in class. That's basically all that I use OneNote for, for taking notes. So I'm going to pad you guys over to my computer and show you guys exactly how I do all that glorious note organizing stuff. So I like taking the bulk of my notes on my computer and what I use is OneNote. Um, so here we have, this is my last year, this is sophomore's year and I have all of my notes neatly organized and highlighted in um, this one folder file that syncs to all of my devices, syncs to my phone, syncs to my tablet. So it doesn't matter what I carry with me to class. I have, you know, all my classes, Intro to Qualitative, I have Women's and Genders, I have Mysteries of the Mind and Theories and Traditions and all of the lectures I have are right here. And it's great because I can flip back through them later on whenever I need them. And I'll go more into detail on how I actually take my lecture notes in a different video. But this video is just how I organize my notes. I take my notes in two different ways. It definitely depends on which class I'm taking. Like, for example, when I took my Spanish class last year, as you can see here, there's like basically no notes here because I decided to take them written. I mean, if they're a language course, I'd rather write them down. But if it's like a course where the teacher's going to be talking about definitions and names and, and concepts, then I definitely like to take it on my computer because I can type faster than I can write. So we're going to just go ahead and create a new notebook. You're going to click Add Notebook, and it's going to pop up at the bottom. I don't want to actually click another one because I already have it made. So this is what it would look like if I just clicked a new notebook. And here you can double click here and add whatever title, so course one, whatever title you want. You can add more courses, course two, how many you ever want, how many that you want. And then if you right click, go down to select color, you can change the color of the course. See, I like using different colors because each class I put a different color for that class and it just helps me to keep really organized. Okay, so this is junior. So now for the first section, I'm going to put the first class, which for this year it would be COM3308 in section A. And then I would have that there. And then I would write the title of the class under the first heading. So this would be advertising a critical perspective. Okay. And that's what I would have there. Now I would, I would change the date because I make them in June. <laughs> I'm going to change the date to August, no, September 2nd, which is the first day of school. And I will do it like that in order of my classes for the entire fall semester and for the winter. So let me just do that and come back. So this is my junior year for with all my courses. And um, so I have advertising, a critical perspective. I have interest to stat psychology. I have research methods and so on and so forth. And I even have the courses for next year. And as you can see, they're color coded as well. I have five different courses each semester and I use five different colors. I find this method really helps me to stay organized. So I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you beautiful, lovely people in my next video. Bye!